What's up guys, Lockout Men here in the truck. Back at you with another video this morning. It is Friday, it is home time. It is time to get this load off of me so I can go home and do my reset. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. At least not today. I am here in New Haven, Indiana, right here at the Flying J, where the truck stop is pretty packed. I mean, we got trucks parking all over the place. It is crazy. It's crazy when you get here uh, super late and you got to end up making a parking spot. It just makes it bad for the rest of us to try to get up out of here. But anyway, I got a load that's going up to Illinois and then I got a load that's picking up from Illinois and making it back to Ohio. And from Ohio, I'm going to go home, reset, get fresh, and come back out. This morning, I thought I'd just come to you on a, on a quick topic right quick. This is just a little quick video that I saw in Facebook. Just to get you guys' opinions or reactions on this, uh, this semi-flatbed versus car crash right quick. Who, will pro who was probably at fault and what could have been done to not have this crash happen, all right? So check it out right here. This truck right here, right here, as you can see, there's the truck, there's the semi truck, there's the white truck that he's gonna have the problem with. And the light is turning yellow. Now, usually when uh, the light's turning yellow, of course, you know, if we're, if, if a truck driver is like, is like slowing down or something like that and the light just so happens to, to turn in front of him, then yeah, it's gonna kind of be hard for him to just dead stop to catch or to make the light. Yes, we gotta take the light with caution. Like for example, you gotta, you gotta let oncoming cars know that you're coming. You gotta hit that horn, you gotta hit that air horn, let them know that you're coming and that you might not be able to make that light. Unfortunately for this uh, four-wheeler right here and this semi-truck right here, I don't believe that happened. Uh, the semi-truck was definitely going too fast and the four-wheeler definitely turned too quick. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, what do you guys think? I mean, this is just a quick video on uh, on safety. You know what I'm saying? I really believe nobody wouldn't have got hurt or anything like that if if the driver took precautions to slow the truck down. Say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. That's why I, why I am, one of the reasons why I am today.